Hello, this is Jiri Wang, a bio bee who will deliver the latest honey-like news from the Korean bio industry to you earlier than anyone else in the world. Good to see you guys again. I'm back today to inform you of the most honey-sweet issues in South Korea's bio industry. Please don't forget to subscribe to Bio TV and set up notifications. And by turning on notifications, you can receive the latest honey-like information even faster. Now then, shall we go and take a look at today's sweetie sweet news? Cacao will be entering the global digital healthcare business in earnest. Cacao has established a company in company, CIC, in the digital healthcare sector and has hired Professor Huang He at Seoul National University Pundong Hospital, who is also a vice president of Easy Care Tech as CEO of the CIC. Cacao has been steadfastly developing its healthcare related capabilities. Cacao Investment, an investment subsidiary of Cacao, has been strengthening its medical data cap capability since early on, working together with South Korea's largest domestic hospitals. Based on Cacao's technology, digital capabilities, and user service experience, the Healthcare CIC aims to carry out distinguished digital healthcare projects, such as those that provide life cycle based health management and smart medicine with a focus on overseas markets. In addition, as Cacao has been increasing the number of its contact points with innovative startups in the healthcare field, there is a high possibility that Cacao will make further investment in various startups as well as pursuing business collaborations. So far, Cacao Ventures has invested in startups across a variety of fields such as Lunit, Standime, and Emocog. Let's keep an eye on how Cacao will innovate the digital healthcare field in international markets based on the experience it has gained in the medical and healthcare fields. Celtran and Binex has signed a business agreement for the localization of some outsourced production of biopharmaceuticals. With the signing of the agreement, the South Korean company Binex will take charge of producing some of the biosimilar products, which Celtran has been outsourcing to a contract manufacturing organization. With countries around the world taking stronger measures to protect their own industries due to the coronavirus pandemic, Celtrion has proactively embarked on a strategy to localize the production of biopharmaceuticals in preparation for possible disruption in the su supply chain of raw and subsidiary materials, together with South Korea's Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy and Korea Bio. This past June, Celtrion also signed a material localization agreement with Ecel, South Korea's domestic company specializing in materials components, and equipments for biopharmaceuticals. As a result, Celtrion is poised to secure a stable supply of materials that was previously entirely dependent on foreign imports by virtue of South Korea's own technology, as well as to achieve cost savings. Killing two birds with one stone, so to speak. Binex, on the other hand, is South Korea's domestic CDMO company that produces antibody drugs, biosimilars, recombinant proteins, and so on. And it has a variety of production facilities with cap capacity ranges from 200 liters to 5,000 liters. The signing of this MOU between the two companies is significant in that it has laid a foundation for enhancing the technical capacity of South Korea's domestic bio industry and also for increasing the industry's self-reliance by allowing the expansion of the scope of localization efforts into the biopharmaceutical CMO field. It's a delight that efforts to localize materials, components, and equipment for the symbiotic growth and advancement of South Korea's domestic bio industry appear to be coming to fruition uh, one after another.
Looks like that's all the honey sweet news we have gathered for you today. I will be back soon with new and even sweeter issues related to South Korea's bio industry. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. Bye.